Hey Aries. What's up, Aries? And this is your solar eclipse, new moon, April 2022 reading. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up, I promise. I'm gonna wake up, I promise. Gotta get that fire going for you. Yeah, and all that shit. All right, Aries, what you wanna talk about? What do you wanna talk about? Aries, what do you want to talk about? Mm -hmm. Call it moving outside. <laughs> I'm not sure how this technically is rush out of where I'm at, but all right. Anyway. Aries, what do you want to talk about? Mobility? <laughs> I don't understand. What do you want to talk about? Hmm? You don't want to talk at all, I see. The fuck? These cards ain't coming out the deck. Aries, what's going on? What's going on? Okay. What's going on, Aries? Come talk to me. Come talk to me. One more. Get that last chance with that. Come on, Aries. Let's talk about it. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. Yep. You, mm-hmm. You don't want to get this conversation started? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Page energy. Go right, ahead, Aries. Shining your, your reading, kind of, sort of. With that uh, young, communi communicative, that's the word? <laughs> I think that's the word, y'all. Then I uh, got up very early, and uh, it's it's midday, or pretty much later in the day. All right, we'll take those. Mm. Generally, this would be three cards, but Aries, you be ooh ooh ooh. Mm. Mm -mm. Well, goddamn. Okay. All right. We could work with this. We could work with this spiel over here. This little spread we got going on. We, we, we could do something with this. All right, so we're just gonna regard these two as one, as the past. So in a past position, you have the Page of Swords and you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, which is fucking strange because this is the solar eclipse new moon and taurus so i mean but it's past energy you know it's past it's past it's past and we got we got you in a sense as well over here the fool in the present and in the future we have the four of cups which isn't terrible i mean this isn't terrible totally terrible <laughs> So what story is, what story are the cards telling us? In the past position, again, you have the Page of Swords, right? Let's start here. You have the Page of Swords, and this card represents a youthful person or new ideas, um, enthusiasm, and because it's the Swords, it's usually mental or hmm, what's the right terms here if not mental then it's logic it's um kind of like practicality maybe but it's more so um in the mind and it's less feelings involved so it's more logic. It's more logic than feeling. So this card represents a youthful, something new, something spontaneous even. You're very enthusiastic about it. A new beginning, a new goal, a new venture in life, right? And you're ready for it. And you're putting your heart aside. You're putting your emotions aside and you're going for it. But... And then you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So whatever whatever venture you went on, 
that new idea that you were so enthusiastic about, that new goal you 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 set shit in motion towards, it didn't turn out exactly how you thought. And obviously when we set our intentions on something and we begin to pursue it, we want a desirable outcome. It's not what you got in the past. Um, it wasn't abundant. You probably lost a lot. You probably feel like you're not even, your emotions are probably not even in this because this is air and this is earth. So you're probably just very analytical about it. You're going over and over and over in your mind. How did you fuck this up? But it's very probable that instead of working with people, Aries, you were headstrong thinking you could do it all by yourself and um you couldn't so <laughs> that's not funny so in the present position you have the fool the fool is all about new beginnings so i mean you're you're whatever had you down whatever whatever you went for and it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to turn out you either are going for that again or you're going for something else but this is a new start and this is also a card that represents like not really having all you need to get it done but it doesn't matter because you're letting spirit guide you in a sense and you're just like fuck it i'm throwing caution to the wind which may or may not be a good idea i mean everything with a pinch of salt right even when you make cookies salt is still in there it's not just straight sugar and other ingredients but you get what i mean so it's probably wise to reflect not not i don't want to say harp but do not sit and sulk on what happened prior that didn't turn out the way you wanted it to turn out what you can do or should do is just take the lessons and learn from them and apply it to going forward what not to do going forward in your new venture and your future card represents bruh stop sulking because clearly it, it, you don't even know the outcome of whatever you're pursuing you you cannot possibly know the outcome because none of us know the future but before you get there you're sitting around and you're you're fixated on everything that's wrong like what the fuck are you doing aries are you like sitting around waiting for something that probably isn't even real? Uh, yeah, expectations for this new venture, this this whatever you're setting out on, so high that or or such perfection that it can't be attained and you're just sitting around like fuck maybe i'm not even gonna do this maybe maybe I, why even try or have you achieved what you set out to achieve but because it's not quote unquote perfect you're dissatisfied and you're just like fuck it is all garbage aries sit down calm down look at what you've done And what's, what are some good terms here? <laughs> Look at what you've created and marvel in it. No matter what it is. Because ultimately, if you're satisfied with it, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It really don't. And that could be an issue. You're too focused on what other people are thinking. But you're an Aries, so I don't know. I, I don't even think that might be the case i think you're just being way too hard on yourself let's see what the queen moon oracle has to say it's fucking cars outside it's fucking cars 
Why are they hating on the reading? That's why. Why? My lighter's hating on the reading. The cars outside are hating on the reading. Like, what's going on here? Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, wow, it is beauty. <laughs> That's nice. All right. What does the Queen of the Moon Oracle has to say? What, 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 okay, what guidance do you have for Aries? Hunger. Mm. She has hunger. That is 29, which is 11. Mm. I like it. 29, 29, guys. Let's go to 29. Wolf Moon. Ooh, I like it. Hunger. Feed the good and hope within you. There will always be a lean part of a cycle. Prosperity will come. Do not let your hunger blindly dictate your actions entirely. Aries, your manifestation is. I recognize all that I hunger for. As an old wise Cherokee is speaking to his grandson about life, the young boy asks his grandfather, it is said, grandfather, that everyone has two wolves within them. The first wolf gives darkness, despair, hate, and jealousy, and sorrow. The second wolf gives light, hope, helpfulness, and kindness. Yet, grandfather, I feel them fighting within me. What can I do? My small son, these two wolves will always fight, and they will fight within each person. You are no different, said the grandfather. But the boy said, grandfather, which wolf will win? And the grandfather answers, whichever wolf you feed. We must be careful about what we nourish and feed within us. If we give abundance to the aspects of the self that can harm others and ourselves, then we cannot truly thrive. Having no limitations upon these behaviors and patterns hurts us and starves the higher and finer parts of ourselves that will bring us more happiness. To ripple that happiness to others is part of why we are on the planet as humans. We must also recognize in life, just because it is a cycle, there will always be a leaner, less abundant, or less bright times. Yet we have built our resilience and self-trust for times like this. And we know we are both loved and protected. The cycle will soon turn in less shadow and more bounty. Mm. Well, there you have it, Aries. Focus on the good, and the good is what you'll get. You sit around harping on shit going wrong or shit just not being perfect for whatever reason you think, and it's fucking perfect, and you're just a nut, then that's what you'll get. So, do what needs to be done and focus on the positives. Focus on your strengths. Now get off my table. Bye, Aries.